It's been a long year since Oklahoma State went down to Troy last year and lost. What will happen this week with the rematch? That's just one of our topics today on OSU Football with Scott Wright. Hi, I'm Mike Kaler, and joining me at the Dodge Sports Desk this week, as always, is OSU beat writer Scott Wright to talk some OSU football. Scott, let's talk about really how far this team has come. Last year, they go down. They're changing quarterbacks between Bobby Reed and Zach Robinson. They end up losing to Troy. Where are the Cowboys now compared to kind of that instable period of last year? Uh, stability is the, is the key word right there. Uh, Zach Robinson coming in and taking over that starter role really stabilized this team. Um, they, were, they were kind of in flux at, at, at that point in the season. Um, Bobby had struggled. Zach had come in for him when he was injured against Florida Atlantic and played really well. Uh, there were a lot, of, uh, a lot of questions about what direction the team was heading. They make the switch. And, uh, you know, they also, at the, that game in Troy, discovered Kendall Hunter was a, was a pretty good running yeah, back, too. That's not bad. Yeah, so, uh, so some good things did come out of that game. But, uh, but from, from that point to now, 14 games uh, has passed. And this is, a, this is a much more stable team, much more prepared to handle uh, some of the adversity that they did like they did last year at Troy. Uh, being in Stillwater this year uh, shouldn't be the case. It's, uh, you know, sunny and, and, and 80 on, uh, on Saturday, no lightning or anything like that. Talk a little bit about Zach. You wrote about him at the end of last week. Just kind of his progression from that game all the way to this game, how he's grown as, not as a leader off the field and on the field, too, as one of the better quarterbacks in the Big 12. That leadership is, is really, has really been the key. Um, you know, he, he took this team in the offseason and was able to guide them uh, in, in just the same way that uh, they, if Coach Gundy was out there uh, orchestrating their drills. So um, that, that leadership has, has really kind of uh, grown from him. Everybody looks to him as, as the leader now. They know that he can make the plays, that, that he can uh, you know, get them out of tight situations, uh, get them into the right situation, the right play call when they need it. So they, uh, they trust him. Um, as, as a player, I think you're seeing his passing ability develop this year. He hasn't been asked to run, um, you know, partially, I think, probably to protect him. You don't want to get him hurt against Missouri State when you've got Missouri coming up. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, but, he's, but he's still making the plays that he needs to. And uh, that, the deep ball especially, I think, is something you're seeing develop from him this year. Yeah, but he's really not had to pull them out of the fire at all in these first three games, relying on what the running backs are doing and what Des Bryant is doing. You see... Right. Him being bigger, bigger part of the offense, though, as the, as the weeks go along. I definitely think you'll start to see that um, if if they get into that situation this week with Troy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Troy is the type of team that could score enough points to put them in that situation, possibly. So we we might see that there. Uh, Texas A and M. It's really you don't know what you're going to get with with that mm -hmm. team. Um, but definitely uh, October 11th when they go to Missouri, uh, I think you'll you'll see uh, a lot of. Uh, not necessarily new parts of the playbook, but things that we haven't seen since last year. Going back to Troy a little bit, we've been talking a lot this week uh, about quality wins. Sooners are playing TCU, a, a decent mid-major type of team. OSU playing Troy, a team that's you know beaten the big boys in the past. Is this the type of win that OSU needs to get off of the cusp of the top 25 and get into the rankings going into the Big 12? Most likely they will because there will be a couple of teams at the at the bottom you know bottom part of the top twenty five that'll lose and I mm -hmm. mean they're they're technically only seven points behind Fresno State at number twenty five in the AP poll right now mm -hmm. so uh, so just a, a few votes you know depending on on where they're at so mm -hmm. so they're re they're really close at this point uh, I think that if they if they go ahead and win this week that you'll see them pop into the top twenty five mm -hmm. um, you know being that this game's in Stillwater I don't know how much uh, how much oomph it carries with the voters. Um, it's it's really more of a game that you're probably supposed to win at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, although that uh, that Ohio State game, a lot of people watched that and saw Troy sure. uh, hang with hang with those guys. So uh, it could have a little bit more a uh, little bit more power because of that. Another thing you're going to write about this week is about bowl possible bowl destinations for for the Cowboys. You know, it's never too early for us to write about uh -huh. January uh, in September. Uh, talk about kind of the realistic ones and best case, worst case scenario of the bowl destinations. You know, I've, I've, all season I've said that I, I think this is an eight and four team in the regular season, and you and when you do when you do that and you break it down, they end up you know uh, somewhere in the uh, you know the Sun Bowl, Alamo Bowl, uh, the Holiday Bowl isn't isn't out of the realm of possibility at this point. Mm -hmm. um, if if things fall right. 
two BCS teams from the conference and, and, and maybe another win along the road from the Cowboys that, that maybe we don't expect. They could, uh, they could pop into the Cotton Bowl. Mm -hmm. um, there, there are a lot of different scenarios because of the Gator Bowl, Sun Bowl scenario, which is uh, a really complicated thing because the Gator Bowl can pick second if they want it. If they don't want it, the Sun Bowl, Sun Bowl gets to pick. Uh, further on down, so it's it's kind of a confusing thing, but uh, there there's a pretty good range of possibilities at this point for the Cowboys, and and really when you're three and zero, nothing's out of the realm of possibility. All right, everything's green at this point in the <laughs> season, of course. Thank you, Scott. You can see Scott again on Bed on the Bedlam Nation conversation right here on NewsOK.TV on Friday, and for the rest of your OSU news and analysis, stick with the best coverage team in the state at NewsOK.com, NewsOK.TV, and every day in the Oklahoma.